Thank you for joining us once again. You'll notice the text of Scripture above me on the wall of her church, Prepare to Meet Thy God, Amos chapter 4 and verse 12. Amos, like so many other minor prophets in Scripture, was raised up in mercy by the Lord to warn the people of Israel or Judah that judgment was coming because of their sin. God is merciful. And in Scripture, before God ever sent judgment, he always raised up an individual called and anointed of God to call the people to faith and to repentance and to warn of that day of judgment. Amos was such an individual. He was a farmer, and God called him to be a prophet to the nation. Prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. You know, anything in life that is important or anything in life that is worthwhile always demands a certain level of preparation. If you're still in school and you have to sit exams, it's important to be well prepared. If you're going for a job interview, it's important to be well prepared. If you're going for a medical examination, it's important to be well prepared. If you're getting married, it's important to be well prepared. If you're going on holidays, it's important to be well prepared. If you're facing retirement, it's important to be well prepared. If you're going to hospital, it's important to be well prepared. We recognize the necessity of preparation for so many appointments and journeys and circumstances in our lives. But the most important thing to prepare for is the great day of judgment. All roads lead to the judgment seat of Christ. And this world of ours is not our final home. This world of ours is like a departure lounge. And all roads lead to the judgment. Hebrews chapter 9 and 27 says, And as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. The scripture says, And so then every one of us, shall give an account of himself to God. The unconverted will stand at the great white throne judgment. The child of God will stand at the bema, the judgment seat of Christ. But nevertheless, all roads lead inevitably, ultimately, to judgment. And the word of God calls us simply and succinctly to prepare for this day of judgment. Because we will not be giving an account before our fellow man. We will not be giving an account to an earthly tribunal. We will be giving an account of our lives to Almighty God, the giver of life, the one with whom we have to do. In him we live, we move, we have our being. And so many of us, if we're honest, we live independently and ignorantly of the reality of judgment. But the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. Did you know that there's coming a day whenever you will meet God? There's coming a day whenever I will stand before God and we will meet our Creator. Someday, by and by, inevitably a lot sooner than we think or hope or realize. Some of us will face judgment very soon. Others perhaps have a few more years. But the reality is all of us will stand before our God, a God of holiness, righteousness, and justice. A God who is almighty, all-powerful, and all-knowing. A God who is everywhere present. A God who was there whenever we were in our mother's womb. A God who was there whenever we drew our first breath. A God who is present even now, watching on, looking on, as Hagar in the wilderness said, Thou God, seest me. Now many people are not prepared and then some people are ill-prepared. They prepare by maybe being religious. They prepare by getting involved perhaps in a church. They prepare by maybe saying their prayers or by fasting or by giving to the Lord's work or by sitting at the Lord's table. And yet the reality is that they're not prepared at all. Jesus Christ, as he commenced his earthly ministry, said, repent and believe the gospel, or repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. There needs to be a turning from sin, and there needs to be an exercising of faith in Jesus Christ. The lovely thing about our Savior, on the cross, he made a full payment for our sins. He became sin for us. 
He offered one sacrifice for sins forever. He paid the price in full. And as Luke's Gospel, chapter 14, invites us, Come, for all things are now ready. We prepare to meet God by first coming to the cross, coming to Christ, repenting of our sin, giving our hearts and lives to him, believing on him, trusting him as our saviour. And then from thence we begin to live for him. And that's how we prepare, by endeavouring, having been converted and born again of the Spirit of God, having received the free gift of God's salvation, then we begin to walk with him, witness for him, watch for him, wait for him, work for him, and seek his face. I wonder today, are you really prepared to meet God? Have you got your passport ready? I trust today that you will be prepared. The Boy Scouts used to say that, didn't they? Be prepared. It's a good motto, how vital it is in the spiritual to be prepared. May God bless you, and we trust that you'll come to know this wonderful Saviour, and even today, start out and prepare to meet thy God. God bless you. See you next time.